Good afternoon, friends. How are you all? Today we are going to discuss about a problem on calculation of expected value of a probability distribution. Says the following information is available from a survey done by the staff of a hospital on how many times a patient will call a nurse uh, during the 12 hour shift. Find the expected value of the number of calls. Okay, so X is your number of calls. Okay, and number of patients, for example, number of patients who do not call at all is four. Number of patients who call the nurse once is eight. Uh, number of patients who call the uh, nurse twice is 16 and so forth. This is a discrete probability distribution. So the first thing we will do is find a uh, total of this, uh, which is the sample size. And this is sample size. Sample size. And this is equal to 4 plus 8 is 12 plus 16, 28 plus 14 is 42, plus 6 is 48, plus 2 is 50. Now we will calculate uh, relative frequency relative frequency relative frequency let me erase that and write it in my so. go back to this and I'm calculating. Let me write it in here later. Relative frequency, which, as you know, is defined by F over N. Relative frequency is same as probability. So F is the frequency in each individual, for each individual value of X, a number of patients uh, they're calling is F. So number of patients can be thought of as F. And relative frequency is F divided by N. For example, relative frequency of zero number of calls is 4 over 50, which is equal to, use your calculator to calculate 4 divided by 50 is 0 0.08 is 0 0.08. Next one is 8 divided by 50. So it will be 0 0.16. Next one is 16 divided by 50, which will be 0 0.32. Next one is 14 divided by 50. So 14 divided by 50 is 0 0.28. Next one will be 6 divided by 50. So 6 divided by 50 is 0 0.12. And the last one will be 2 divided by 50, which is 2 divided by 50 is equal to 0 0.04. Okay, if you add all the relative frequency, you will uh, get one because sum of all the relative frequency is one or 100%. Now you have been find, asked to find the expected value of the number of calls. Expected value is written as E, parenthesis X, which is also equal to the mean, is equal to sum of X, times P of X or probability. So basically you multiply each X with the corresponding probability and add them up. And that would be the long way of doing it. The short way of doing it is in your calculator. So in your calculator, what will you do? First, you will press the second button, then plus button, 
then number four button, number plus, then four, you'll get clear all list, all list in your calculator. And if you hit enter, you'll get done. That means you have cleared the memories of the calculator. Next step, you press stat and then select number one or press number one, okay? And that will be edit button. So enter X values in L1 and probability values in L2. L1 stands for list one and L2 stands for list two. Okay, so if I a little bit up. Okay. So that's what we'll do. Second button, then plus on top of enter, then number four, clear all is done, then stat button, then number one, which is edit, and we're going to enter the X values in L1, which is zero, one, two, three, four, and five. Then press the right cursor key to move your cursor, or the black rectangle on the first line in L2, where we are going to enter the relative frequencies, not the number of patients, relative frequency, which is 0 0.08, 0 0.16, 0 0.32, 0 0.28, 0 0.12, 0 0.1, 2, and 0 0.04. So now we have entered L1 values of X and L2, in L2, we have entered the values of the probabilities. So the next step will be press the start button again. Then highlight calc on the top row. Then number one. Press number one. The so stat, calc, number one. When you do that, you will get in your, on your calculator screen one where stats. Where stands for one variable stats. Okay. The first line is list. Normally, it is already set on the calculator as L1. That is where you have X values. Next line is frequency list. It should be empty, nothing after the colon. We have to make it L2 because we have... Uh, Enter the relative frequency of probability in L2. So we press the second button and then two. And we will get L2. The second button and then two in frequency list. Second button and two. And then we bring the cursor on the last line, which is calculate. Cursor means the back black rectangle and we bring the cursor with the down arrow key. Bring it on calculate and hit enter. And the first line is your expected value of the number of calls. Remember this is the expected value of the number of calls. And EX is also given as mu, which is mean. And in our calculator, it will be shown as X bar. The reason is the calculator does not know whether it's a sample or a uh, population data. So it gives X bar. Anyways, the formula for X bar and mu are the same. So X bar is 2.32. What does it mean? On the average, out of 50 patients, 
the nurse can expect expect to receive 2.32 calls in a shift. Okay, so I'll stop here today. If you have any question, comment, please write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please share it with your friends. Uh, and please, you and your friends, subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. Thanks for watching. And I will uh, see you next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Take care. Have a nice day.